Hearings are being held today about amending the constitution to expropriate land without compensation. An ad hoc committee is hearing verbal presentations from individuals and organizations. My colleague, ENC reporter Aisha Ismail, following these proceedings for us. Good afternoon, Aisha. This lunchtime, what's the purpose of these oral submissions now, and what are participants saying? So, Bradad, what happened was that, um, of course, these um, meetings have been going on for years now. Um, Parliament has been grappling with the issue of the amendment of Section 29, 25 of the Constitution. Now, this morning we heard submissions from a diverse group of organizations, and these include um, AgriSA, Saka Lecha, the South African Property Association, as well as COSATU and the Black Management Forum. Now, there are two schools of thought here. Um, the one school of thought is saying that there is no need for the Constitution to be amended. They're saying that the Constitution in its present form makes provision for expropriation um, without compensation. The other group is saying there is a need for this amendment um, so as to eradicate any ambiguity. And what's interesting is that particularly the, the one organization, Saka Lecha, they were saying that um, this is is not expropriation without compensation. They talking about um, land being confiscated. But let's take a listen to what the representative from Sarkalikha had to say. Sarkalikha submits that the constitution cannot be amended to facilitate confiscation as contemplated and remain a true constitution. It will lose its legitimacy insofar as it is so amended and it will regain that only after such an amendment is undone. So I recommend to this committee that it reports to Parliament that it was unable to propose an amendment that makes explicit provision for confiscation because confiscation could never be implicit in the Constitution proper and introducing it would produce an unconstitutional order. But Aisha, there are those who agree that the constitution needs to be amended in order to facilitate land reform, right? That is correct. And, and, and um, these groups include um, COSATO and the Black Management Forum. And also, Badan, um, the chairperson of this ad hoc committee, um, Dr. Mochecha, went out of his way to say to people, this is not about punishing anybody. This is about um, correcting the ills of the past and leveling the playing fields. And as COSATO also pointed out, that... Um, there are so many disparities in South Africa, and if one looks at the situation in South Africa, South Africa is one of the most um, unequal societies in the world, and we're talking here about, um, you know, 26, 27 years after democracy. But let's take a listen to what Kasato had to say about the issue of um, expropriation um, without compensation. I think, Chair Honorable Dr. Nklozi, I would agree with him 200%. I think he has put it very elegantly, Comrade Chair, to say this constitutional amendment, which seeks a peaceful transition and resolution of the original sin, is the correct option. Um, and again, we simply need to go to other countries and see what are the consequences of not addressing our issues peacefully. With this, the chaos in Zimbabwe, or many other African countries, the difficulties in different countries in Asia, if you don't address this problem correctly, it's going to be a, a festering cancerous sore, which is going to condemn us forever um, we think the way it's being dealt with Comrade Chair is constitutional, is rational. I think there's been, what is it, three or four years now of extensive parliamentary engagements nationally and provincially. Um, we think it's going to be dealt with in a way which is going to benefit, benefit everybody. Chair. Thank you very much. Our reporter, the Aisha Ismail, ending that report. There was Matthew Parks from Kosatu.